guys, Midnight Assassin here. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. And today, yet again, we are doing random stuff. Totally random. Like standing out here. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys are all having a great day today. I know I am. Um, guys, I have something to tell you. We bought the Vapid Slamman. Sad thing was is that I was making a previous video, and then my mother ruined it by calling out my name. And, you know, it's not really that good having another voice while you were talking in this video. So, it got ruined. It was fun while it was lasting. You know, I was racing a. Uh, I had the vapid. Uh, the. I just had uh, okay fine so I had my vapid um, gr uh, gruntlet uh, which is the Dodge Challenger GT and then when I was driving it out of the garage I came across the uh, Buffalo which is the Dodge Charger GT and I decided to race this person and it was pretty funny and then after that, my mother called up and ruined the video. So depressing. But anyway, who cares? It's over, done with. So I just bought the Vapid uh, Slamman for $49,500. Pretty pricey for a truck like this. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully, um, you guys did like the uh, previous video back there. If you guys did hear the characters echoing, like, uh, like if Franklin said, like, "Come on, man, man, man," or something like that, that's just the audio. Um, I don't know, like, what that's all about. But if you just hear them like echoing, I guess that's normal. So that guy's a fucking asshole. You should go to hell for that. Um, but yeah, so if you just hear them echoing, that's perfectly normal. Um, you know, I don't really have the best audio system yet. I will be getting it soon. Um, but for now, we're going to take this to Los Santos Customs. We are going to upgrade it. We are going to make it look like a piece of badass awesomeness. The thing about this thing is that its traction is absolute bullshit. That's it. It takes a lot of force to stop this thing. Probably because it's used in Tokyo Drift. Sounds like a muscle truck. Hold up. Yeah, it's muscle. Oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm a muscle freak, guys. I love muscle cars, and also, I do love trucks. Pickup trucks like this. So, yeah. And also my friend Dominic, he likes muscle cars too. Um, he would prefer a muscle car over an import. So for all you import lovers out there, just reminding you that if you if you ever change your mind, which you should, go to one of these sexy things. Because you know what you can do with them? You can make them look OP give them a joyride of your life and, that, and then you'll get a girlfriend with one of these like cuz look at that this thing can fly but of course gravity says no you're going back to earth but anyway you know you can still fly with it jeez you're a moron I, I was driving straight I was driving straight ahead so yeah, you'll probably hear that guy <coughs> echoing out like moron. On, on. Well, that is completely normal. We oh my, I gotta slow down. Jeez, it's so drifty right here. I'm not gonna change the tires. I don't really want to. I want to just keep the tires normal. There they are. Here for the magic touch. Yes, I am, Senor. I'm going to put full out armor on this thing. Thank you. That's what we need. Our horn's fine. Uh, respray. We're gonna respray it later. Uh, oh, look at this. Boom! 
Look at how low that is. It's the lowest of the low. It's the lowest truck ever. <laughs> so low to the ground. So we're going to keep it at a lower um, suspension. I'm going to take out turbo tuning. Uh, wheel type. You know what? Uh, screw it. We're just going to put in. going to put in, uh, you know, those things. Seven That's fives. Right there. I know, right? So cool. Best thing ever, man. You know it. This guy's like, yeah. I so know that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the wheels green for this. Boom, 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 boom. There, there we go. We're gonna, probably gonna make this truck look very green, my friends. These tires are hardcore. I know, right? Oh, that looks even better. Freaking vintage style, baby. Hmm, what should our tire smoke be? You know what? Let's go with green. We're gonna do everything green because that is actually my favorite color, guys. Yeah, we're doing high class limo service in this thing. <laughs> Respray. So, let's see. What does the green look like on this? Like for classic, just classic original. Whoa, that ultra boost blue is like killing it. Setting out some good vibes. Okay, so there's the green, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something better. We are going to put on metallic. And metallic actually makes things stand out like that. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Look at that. Boom. Completely vintage right there. Now that's a good red. That's a red you gotta love, man. Flower power is gonna save the world, man. Yeah, damn right. Okay, so what's a green that goes with this? Is that a lime or something like that? Okay, so now we go to secondary. Metallic again, so... We're gonna make the whole truck green, boys. Is that a bright green or a... Oh, here it is. Lime green. So there's our lime green truck. <laughs> Holy smokes, that actually looks pretty good. No, screw it, we're putting in turbo. Oh, I'll be taking flight, my friend. <laughs> there we have it. There is the truck of awesomeness. Now we are going to test its highest speeds. Because that's what we do. We buy a truck and then we push it to the max. And see what it can do. For us today. Holy crap, yo, this thing is actually really fast right now. The only bad thing about it is that the traction is absolutely terrible. But, we deal with it the best we can. You son of a bitch. I'm not picking up any tools. Screw you. This thing is built for low ride and it is getting extremely filthy right now this is not a good way to respect your car see look at that look at how drifty it is it's so drifty you can't tell that it's green but you'll know you'll know what it's green Oh yeah, this thing is perfect. Perfect combination of badass. Oh, that's a good drift right there. That will give you some good drifting points. Okay, so back it up. Time's it. Oh, that sounds awesome. Alright, where's our speedometer? Go! Oh, 
that's gonna look awesome. Okay, so right now it's at 100 miles an hour right now. I'm looking at it. Alright, on this turn, let's do it. Sharp turn. Checking our speed here. Oh shit, we're gonna go off road. No, 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 no. Stay on the road, stay on the road. Oh, and it's maxed out already. Holy crap. I'm scared of what's gonna happen when I slow down. Because I'm gonna drift stop. Oh, no. My baby got damaged. That's fucking bad. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, there you have it, boys. Truck of awesomeness. So awesome. <laughs> so. <coughs> Y'all. Yeah. Take a liking to this truck right here because it is awesome. Now, I might put this in my personal garage. Just maybe. Just so that it's like close to the LS Customs. I might take out the Bobcat and put this one in. It actually might work, work better because uh, I'm pretty sure this thing is skinnier than the Bobcat. But still. The Bobcat's longer, this thing here is shorter. Oh, Jesus. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? You sure you're the best mechanic, Jacob? Because you get sexual with cars some days. So here's our complete out lowrider. Looks awesome. I want to see what it looks like in gold. Ah, uh, that, that's gold right there. Vroom, vroom. Gold, gold. Pure gold, boys. Sorry guys for the insanely awkward silence. It's just my brother wanted something. So we had to talk in sign language. Do you know what he was wondering? He was wondering if he could borrow 20 bucks from me. Fucking idiot. Michael, you're not getting $20. Screw off. Your own money, you dumb idiot. <laughs> yeah, the guy bought an Xbox One for fuck's sake, so. 
He bought an Xbox One. He he said he was gonna wait for Christmas. He's gonna be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm waiting till Christmas. Well, guess what? The guy waited past Christmas. Cause you know what he thought? He thought we were gonna get him one. And I and I had this thing on my mind, you know, because I usually prank him on Christmas by giving him like presents that are just fucking hilarious. Um, what's a good one? Oh, I gave him a. Uh, like one Christmas, I think this was two years ago or something like that. On one Christmas, um, I pranked him by giving him. Oh, uh, what the hell was it? Shit, I can't remember what it was. It, it, it was something, but like, um. I don't know what it was. It was something weird, <laughs> but anyway, um, I pranked him with that, and then. Oh, now, now I know. It was a sock. It was a sock with a marshmallow in it. So, that was pretty funny. He's like, what the fuck is this? Why is, why am I getting a sock with a marshmallow in it? It's just stupid. I don't really prank him that much anymore, but... He literally thought that we were going to buy him the Xbox One. Because, um... He's been saving money for the past year? Something like that, I don't know. He, he's been saving money for a long time because our grandmother, who's awesome, gives us money. For every holiday. $20, even $40 sometimes comes in the mail from Toronto. And we're like, fuck yeah. So, he's been saving that for a while. <coughs> so he had to go out and buy the Xbox One S. And uh, he said, why aren't you getting anything for Christmas. Well, things that I got, I got the iPad Air 2, I got the PS4 Slim, uh, a lot of games, by the way. Also, I think I got uh, deodorant, a Wii U game. I no longer have my Wii U. What I did with it was because I, I used to have a Wii U until I traded it in for the PlayStation 4. Which I think was a really smart move. For for you Nintendo lovers out there. Like. I got the uh, Wii U for my 13th birthday. Uh, of 2016. And. Like. I was having fun with it you know. Thing was I couldn't you know record on it. And all that. It just wasn't calling to me. So, the day after Christmas, uh, we go out and we buy ourselves the PlayStation 4. Which was actually a really smart thing to do. Um, because, you know, the PlayStation, I just think it's a little bit better than the Xbox, you know. But my brother thinks otherwise. Uh, and for him... I don't know what he traded. He used to have a GameCube, a Nintendo GameCube, which is those old things. I call it the All Spark for some reason, or just I call it Steve's Head. I don't know. I just call it a bunch of things. So that's what he used to have. He did not trade it in. He still has it. Still has it. He put it up on a shelf somewhere, and now he admires it. He doesn't play it anymore because he thinks that if he does, it's going to break because it's too old. I have a Game Boy from 1989, and it still works to this legendary day. So, yeah. But there's still antiques, you know. It's like when you look back at Nintendo, you know, they used to actually have playing cards, like cards that you see at a casino or something like that. And then they move up. So from consoles, you know, you have the Game and Watch. And now look what they got. They got the fucking Nintendo Switch. You know? Like, what the hell? You're going from a little tiny thing, like a pocket-sized thingamabobber, going up to the frickin' Nintendo Switch. Like, shit. You guys have fucking evolved from uh, tiny little things to uh, fucking big things now. So, like, I, I do love Nintendo, you know? It's always been a good thing to me, you know? Mario Brothers, yippee ya! You know? The Mario, he's been the good to me. 
That's a Luigi, you know. And I also used to have a Nintendo Wii. That I gave to my niece, but I still have one game from it that I probably will never get rid of, and it's called Transformers the Game Wii. Because that was a very fun video game at the time. Now, my Wii that I used to have <coughs> was not really the best Wii. Alright? Wiis are shit now. You know? Even though they got you fit. Still. You gotta let them go. They're fucking crap. Hey, you got all lucky, homie. Okay, now that guy's an asshole, even though... I'm, I'm, I'm replacing this truck with a, um... With a Dodge B-Series truck thing. I sounded like that policewoman who's like, you know, like if you, uh, shoot some, and then there's like, um, uh, like, uh, calling in. We have a Grand Theft Auto near, uh, oh wait, uh, suspect is driving a, um, silver Bobcat, or like a uh, silver utility truck, or something like that, but yeah, so that's what it sounded like. Ah. <sighs> So fun. You and your Hummer are terrible together. <laughs> so yeah, that's what my brother got. He's been saving up, I think, six hundred dollars for a long time. He's also been saving ever since he was a young child. Ever since he was a little tiny baby. When he was a puppy, when he was a puppy monkey baby, that's when he started saving up the big bucks. For me, I don't like the X caboose. I like the PS4 boost. Man, what the hell is that? That's called a rat, or whatever the fuck that was. It rammed into me. It was a tiny little watchdog. But yeah, for me, I think PS4 is better. But people have their opinions, and I'm not going to go too technical with it. That's why I don't really opinion on sports, because when you're in the teenage realms, you gotta be cool, guys, because if you're not, you're gonna get fucking kicked out like that guy just did, because he got ran over, because he wasn't knowing what he was doing. But yeah, so, what the fuck, why are mountain lions always out here? It's not really that normal. So, you know, definitely in high school, don't do shit that you shouldn't be doing because you know what's gonna happen if you do shit that you shouldn't be doing you're gonna get beat up and also you're not gonna be cool take take some advice from youtubers all right also if you guys are in middle school and you have a sibling or someone like that who's in high school ask them what it's like and they could help you with some pointers you know the first pointer is don't fucking don't be an idiot like don't go around being stupid okay because if you do something stupid in front of the wrong person you're not gonna have fun all right that that guy's gonna think you're a total idiot and you're probably gonna get beat up after school for doing that so don't do stuff that you think is going to get you to get your ass kicked. Alright, because trust me, if you do the wrong thing in high school, just be prepared, alright? Because don't do idiotic things. Like, don't do things that are stupid. Alright? But if you play it smart and don't do stupid things, then you'll be fine. But if you go around acting like an idiot, you're not gonna be fine. How the fuck did this truck get damaged that fast? I think I popped two tires, maybe. Oh, no, just one. But, yeah. Second pointer. Not every chick is going to dig ya. Alright? That's not really a pointer. No, it's not. Because for me, guys... Women are fucking impossible to get these days. Like, holy shit, it's hard. 
I don't know what you gotta do to just, you know, make them like you. You know, like, e even attempting to talk to them is, like, fucking hard. You know? It's not the easiest thing in the world. You gotta, like, you gotta be cool. You gotta have muscles. You know, you, you gotta smell good. You gotta have, like, good-looking hair. You know? You gotta do a bunch of crazy shit. You know? It's insane. I have tried talking to women on Instagram, on all kinds of social medias, e even in person. Alright? And it's fucking impossible to get them to start liking you so easily. You know? Like, I, I know what they say. Like, it's all about personality. It kind of is, but also, you gotta, like, you gotta play it cool. And in high school, it's not gonna be easy. Trust me. Also, when you have the money to get yourself a car when you're 16 or 17, because I think you graduate high school at, like, 18 years old or 17 or something like that. And then, you know, you also gotta pick a cool car. No, not one of those things. You gotta pick a car that's the new trend going on. Like, uh, the, like, I don't know what, what the fuck is. I don't know what the new car trend is, alright? Aw, oh, come on, man. I didn't... Oh, you were talking to him? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I'm not arrested? Oh, he told me to pull over. Okay, never mind. So anyway, because uh, usually if you have a tire pop like that and you're driving down the street, you would get pulled over. <laughs> you probably have your truck or car towed. So, yeah. Uh, what else is, uh, you know, another thing out there? Um, oh. If you're going to fight someone, don't really pick the strongest fucking dude out there. Don't go up to a football player when you're a little shrimp and your muscles are the size of uh, fucking potato heads. And you're going up to him being like, hey man, you want to fight me? No, because that guy is going to be like John Cena in miniature form and you're going to be like a fucking stick. He's about to literally get ripped in half and then thrown away. Because if you pick the wrong fight, I guarantee you, you're not going to have a fun time at the hospital. You're going to be sitting there with a broken nose, maybe even a broken arm or something like that. Maybe even a fucked up neck. And you're going to be sitting in there like, holy shit, I should not have done that. Because now look where I am. I'm sitting in a bed. And, you know, the service here is bullshit. Nurse, can I get a Sprite? You know, that kind of crap. So, just don't do stupid stuff. If you do smart things like, you know, doing your work, staying out of trouble, stop trying to act. Like, okay, here's the thing that girls hate. They hate it when you try to impress them by doing retarded What's things. A lot of things. Look at the back of my tire, dumb fuck. So anyway. That do the trick. Can you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to tell tell the people about high school and you're fucking going around talking. Jesus. Anyway. Girls hate it when you attempt to a impress them like... Uh, Let's say, you know, you go up to a, a strong dude and you're like, hey man, you want to arm wrestle? And then you see a girl behind you that you sort of like and then you wink at her. And then the dude's like, oh yeah, fuck it, let's go. And then you get fucking beaten. Whoa. They're going to be like, ugh, that guy's such a loser. So, Jacob, stop interrupting me, you fucking rude ass idiot. Anyway, so don't do that, all right? To stay out of trouble, do your homework. If you interrupt me one more time, I will shoot you right in the testicles, and it will not be a fun day for you, Jacob. You 
you better shut up. But anyway, so that's it. I'm shooting you. Hold up. I'm just gonna buy one more thing and then I'm gonna shoot him. Black tire smoke. And then, uh. My windows are fine. Da -da -da -da. Do I need turbo? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you now. There you go. That's what happens when you interrupt me too much. Now I use my magic tricks to get rid of the police. Come on, get rid of the cops. Come on, dude, he's right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Shit. Okay. That's what happens when you interrupt me. You get shot in the balls. It's not fun, right? My horn's better. So yeah, don't don't go around doing that. So there's a, there's a few pointers in high school for you guys. All right, just act normal. As I do tell you, girls don't like it when you try to impress them. All right, don't go around acting all fucking cool in front of them. Just act normal. All right. Because they'll catch on to you pretty fast. Like, they're probably like, oh my god, he's trying to impress me, even though he's not even cool. Like, oh my god, I'm out of here. So, you know, don't do that. Just act like a normal human being. And if you get bullied, you give him the finger and walk away. No, don't actually do that. Don't give him the finger and walk away. Because then <laughs> you might just get punched in the back of the head. If they... If, if an idiot like trips you in class or something like that, yeah, sure, you can be a snake and go tell the teacher, or you can man up to that motherfucker and kick his ass. Or if the guy has a car, take a very sharp thing and and draw a, a very inappropriate drawing on the side of his car that makes him look like a total douchebag or an idiot. But then also he will probably kill you for doing that but anyway you can at least give it a try I've never done it before and I don't really want to because I had to deal with an asshole for two fucking years well guess what that guy is still an idiot to this day he bullied me and my best friend for two fucking years and he was an idiot and you know what we pranked him so well we found him on a, uh, me and my friend Paul, who is PB Crazy Ace, go subscribe to that motherfucker, he's badass. Anyway, we were, uh, doing a, uh, doing a late night funny thing. We were drinking Monster Energy, you know, we were, we were getting high off of fucking caffeine. You know, we, we were just having a blast. You know, we were like, woohoo, let's do it! So, you're going to jail for that, you're fucking dumb. You were driving over a deer? Jesus Christ. Sorry, Jesus. But anyway. Um, so, I don't know what he looked up or what we looked up. I can't really remember. I was high off of caffeine. And then we look on this website and then we find his profile picture on this, um, I think it's like a special needs website or something like that. I don't know what it was. I forget everything. But anyway, we found him on there, and we are dying of laughter. Like, we're about to fucking pass out. Like, you know when Spongebob starts laughing? That's kind of how we were laughing, but Spongebob doesn't die from laughing because I think he's already dead. You know? I think he's an animatronic. But anyway, we almost died of laughter back there because it was fucking hilarious. So then, the next day, we go up to him, and then we're like, Hey, Mason, that's his name, by the way. We saw you on a special needs website, um, and I don't know what he did, but uh, he was like pissed for a very long time, I don't know why. And we did this in front of his friends, so he would get even more embarrassed. But sometimes, guys, revenge ain't gonna do you that well. You know, like, you can go up to a guy and say, REVENGE, MOTHERFUCKER, but you know, it's not always going to end that well, because if that guy is... You know, just one of those guys who really, really wants to fuck you up. Yotsey! You're 
gonna get flicked, and then that guy is not going to be the nicest person on the block. But anyway, that's what we did. We didn't really go yelling out revenge, motherfucker, because <laughs> even though that would be funny, we didn't watch Ted 2 after that, so. I mean, we didn't watch Ted 2 before that. But anyway, that it was, it was still good. But, <coughs> guys, trying to get revenge on a bully. Hey, it's not always going to work, okay? But, if you do have a bully problem, talk to your parents about it. Go to the principal, you know? Don't try to take matters into your own hands, because that's just going to make the problem worse. And if the guy finds out that you went on and snaked, well, guess what? That guy's going to come back at you like a hundred times harder. He's going to, like, give you a homie homie ha you know? So, don't be a snake. Well, you can be a snake, but be careful when you are doing it. Because, you know, they can catch on to you fast. Because, like, if the teacher goes to them, and then, you know, they're all like, uh, can I get you know. A cab right away? Of course! On. Driver should be with you soon. Sounds good. And then, like, the teacher says, oh, so-and-so said you were doing this to them. You know, you're suspended or you're in detention or some shit like that. Well, guess what? That guy's gonna come at you a hundred times harder. And probably even worse. Now, if he continues doing this, like, constantly, like, every fucking single day, 365 days a fucking week. I'm going home. Don't look at me like that. Turn. Can you turn away? I'm going home. Anyway. So, yeah, and if he continues doing this, I'll get you, there fast, buddy. you could possibly say, or you can call the police, you know, but don't do that all the time because now I'm only saying this because this guy's an idiot right here, but anyway. The only time that you should call the police is if this guy is literally harassing you, like physically hurting you, always calling you mean things. Speed it up, you know? Homie. Hold on to your butt. I can't hold on to my ass. I'm sitting down. You're fucking dumb, man. You could say like hold on to your uh, head or just hold just nothing. But anyway, that's the thing, you know? So, don't, like, if you're going to call the police, make sure it's serious, because, like, again, the only time you call them is if the guy has been bullying you for two years. What the fuck? I didn't know a taxi driver talked to you. But anyway, so, yeah. And if the police are called... The guy could go to prison for that because, you know, you can't be doing that. And sometimes people kill each other, or uh, not kill each other, kill themselves over bullying. You know, because you can't take it anymore. You think, oh, God put me here for no reason, so, you know, you do that. I never think of suicide, alright? And don't you do either, because it's something that you shouldn't think about. It's not really the best thing. You know, like, if you're going to take your own life, like, you know, but don't. Don't do that. It's the worst thing to do, you know. Like, if someone bullies me, you know what I do? I smart with them. I be smart them. I, like, if they, um, uh, what's a good thing here? Because a lot of people call me names. I have been, like, uh, back then... My best friend used to be a bully to me, you know, when I was like little, because I was born with um, autism and uh, Tourette's, which is a, it's not like a disease, but it's like a certain birth defect or something like that, that, you know, very few kids are born with, and um, that's what I have, but I have a very high level autism, so I can control it, you know, some people can't, and they need help, like me. I, I get help, 
you know, I, I got tutors, I got helpers at school, which is a good thing, you know? Not every, like, no one's perfect, all right? Like, look at Franklin. He's not perfect. He's not perfect because, uh, you know, he has a lot of guns. Put that away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know? So, not everyone's perfect. We all know this. But, you know, bullies, actually, they are just trying to get attention off of you because they're probably being bullied at home. Like, their parents are either being assholes to them and, you know, they take it out on a nerd or a person that, you know, they think has, you know... I, I can't really say anything, but, you know, something like that. So they take it out on that person, you know? Like, they act all tough, you know, they start calling you names, they sometimes will physically hurt you, they'll threaten you to take, like, they'll threaten you saying, give me your fucking lunch money, or I'll kick your ass after school, you know? Like, that's what they'll do. Um, so, yeah. But for me, when I was being bullied... I was being called, uh, Miss Lee, you know, um, let's see what else, I was being called retard, stupid, idiot, bunch of fucking mean names of the rainbow, you know, but today, if someone calls me that, I take it as a compliment, because I don't give a shit, alright, like, if someone comes up behind me saying, Hey, you fucking stupid idiot. What's up? I'm like, you talking to me? Or are you talking to a wall? I can't tell. But uh, anyway, th uh, good talking to you. Great fucking conversation. Have a good one. You know? Confuse them. I confuse my friends all the time. I, I, I like to do it. So, yeah. Don't come back at them saying like, you know, I want to fight you. It's the wrong thing. The last thing you want to do is come up to a bully and say, Hey man, I'm going to fight you because you did this. No, no. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. So anyway. That was a little bit about high school and about how to deal with a bully. So take my advice very seriously because not a whole lot of people listen to me. Especially Paul. He does not listen to me all the time. It's very rare. But who cares? So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Sorry about the uh, strange map thing that was very long. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like. We're only going for five. Don't punch it. Touch it very gently with your four fingers. Thumb doesn't count, remember that. Take it home with you. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Have fun. And I don't really know what else to say. Have a great rest of your day before you clicked on this video. I will go now. Cheerio!